From children's toys to household products, stay tuned to number one to find out who found $10 million while hiking. Number 10. Play-Doh Everyone should remember Play-Doh. Known by most of us as a fun childhood toy that you could use to make fun shapes and images. But did you know that it wasn't originally designed as a toy at all? Well, for nearly 22 years, the substance was used as a non-toxic wallpaper cleaner and was first manufactured in Cincinnati, Ohio with the intent to help clean coal residue from household walls. Unfortunately, when the residential homes changed from using coal to natural gases, much of the market for wallpaper cleaner was in decline. Thankfully, Joe McVicker, the nephew of Noah McVicker, who concocted the substance, noticed that children loved to play with the putty-like substance and he quickly realized its potential as a toy for children. McVicker set about establishing Rainbow Crafts with the aim to promote the substance as a toy and, luckily for him, the idea quickly caught on. Within four years, McVicker managed to make somewhere around $3 million in sales. Now, decades later, Play-Doh is still a fun toy and used around the world. Number 9. Unopened Sports Cards Filed in the category of, oops, I forgot I had that, a lucky Tennessee man found boxes upon boxes of sealed sports card packs in his 90-year-old aunt's attic in Tennessee after his uncle had passed away. This find included early 1960s Tops and Fleer football cards as well as a rare 1959 Fleer card of Ted Williams and many more. With the single box of 1948 Bowman cards being estimated at around $500,000 on their own. Combined with the rest of the haul, the collection was thought to be worth well over $1 million. Not a bad result for cleaning out the attic. I think I might need to look at mine. Number 8. Friction Matches This next invention unfortunately didn't make the inventor very rich, but paved the way for future manufacturers. Today, many smokers opt to use plastic lighters, and matches have become second best to the convenience and often refillable properties of lighters. But long before lighters took over the market, matches were the most convenient way to create a flame quickly. And the person who accidentally discovered this amazing invention was Mr. John Walker. Born during the 18th century, Walker was searching for a quick and easy way to obtain fire. While Walker was preparing a lighting mixture, a stick that had been dipped into it set on fire when it accidentally had friction on the stone hearth next to him. And so the match was born. But unlike some of the other discoveries on this list, this one didn't actually make its original inventor rich at all, but it did allow him to live a comfortable life and retire early. It wasn't until after his death that he received recognition for his discovery and other, more business-minded people adapted his idea and took over the market. Number 7. Petroleum Jelly Today, petroleum jelly is most widely known by the name Vaseline, and it is sold across the globe. The first known reference to this product was when Robert Chesabrew invented a useful product from petroleum. The story goes that in 1859, Chesabrew learned of a residue called rod wax while visiting some oil fields in Pennsylvania. There, he saw that oil workers had been using the substance to heal cuts and burns. Seeing the potential, he took samples back home with him and eventually extracted the usable petroleum jelly and started manufacturing Vaseline and marketing it as a medicinal product. During the 1870s, he set up an office in London with subsidiaries in Spain and France, so it's not surprising that by the late 1880s, he was apparently selling the product to Americans at the rate of one jar per minute. Within 30 years, he had factories across Europe, Canada, and Africa, and the product continued to make him money until he died and the company continued to reap the rewards long after his death. It was said that in the years before Chesabrew's death, the business was sold to Unilever in 1987, generating around $75 million in profit. Number 6. Declaration of Independence The Declaration of Independence is perhaps one of the most important documents in American history. But strangely enough, it is a little-known fact that around 200 prints were made at the same time as the original. Being of such importance to American history, though, 
You wouldn't expect to find it anywhere other than in a museum or a private collection. But in 1989, a lucky collector managed to get a copy for just $4. Obviously, for that cost, we can assume that the seller had no idea what they were holding on to. The accidental discovery was found at a Pennsylvania flea market and was only bought because the buyer liked the frame that contained a dismal painting. Unbeknownst to the buyer and seller, tucked behind the ugly painting was one of these original printings of the Declaration of Independence. Clearly, this was very lucky for the buyer, but not so lucky for the seller who must have been devastated to hear that the document was valued at over $1 million. In the end, it was sold at auction for $2,420,000. Of the 200 original printings, there are only around 26 that are known to have survived, and in 1991, only three of these were in public hands. More recently, in 2017, researchers discovered a parchment manuscript of the Declaration in the United Kingdom. I think that the lesson to learn here is, always check something before you sell it. Number 5. Popsicles Popsicles, ice pops, freezer pops, there are various names for this delicious, refreshing invention, but many are unaware of how it came to be. The person that we must thank for this accidental discovery is Frank Epperson from California. Initially called an Epsicle, Epperson claimed that he first created the Popsicle in 1905 when, at the young age of 11, he accidentally left a glass of powdered soda and water after mixing it with a stick in the cold winter weather overnight. Obviously, it's hard to determine how accurate this story is, but it's one that is still printed on the back of many Popsicle boxes today. It wasn't until much later, in 1923, that Epperson popularized the invention after advertising the concept of frozen ice on a stick. After some years, he decided to sell his patent to the Joe Lowe Company, and the novelty item soon took off like wildfire. Directly from the sales of the product, some 20 years later, Epperson managed to receive royalties on more than 60 million cells. And in the year of his death in 1983, the company Unilever paid $155 million for the Popsicle brand. Number 4. Velcro It's amazing when an inventor accidentally creates something that not only makes them rich, but also revolutionizes our way of life. For example, Velcro. The fastener that is used on shoes, clothes, and other items was invented in 1941 by George de Mestral, a Swiss engineer. The idea came to him after he took a close look at the burrs which kept sticking to his clothes and his dog's fur when walking in the Alps. Although accidental factors led to his discovery, some have highlighted that chance is not enough to make such key discoveries. The scientist or inventor must have a prepared and open mind to detect and understand the importance of unforeseen incidents. But that doesn't detract from the awesomeness of someone accidentally discovering something like this. Mestral's discovery and the subsequent product were first looked upon with laughter, but it soon became a hit throughout Europe. It gained even more popularity when it was used in the spacesuits for NASA astronauts, and Mestral lived a luxurious life for over 30 years on royalties and profits from his Swiss factory. Number 3. Accidentally Striking Gold Meet Jonathan Campbell who accidentally discovered the so-called watermelon seed gold nuggets which have sparked a gold rush in his area of Australia. This father of six unearthed the gold in 2017 and has since struck a once-in-a-lifetime deal to sell his mining leases to Canadian mining company Novo. Out of the deal, he first received $250,000 cash and then later received 450,000 shares in Novo, estimated in the last year alone to be worth more than $3.6 million, plus a $1 million discovery bonus if a certain amount of gold is found on the site with a promise of 1% of your royalties once the operation went into production. Not a bad result for an accidental discovery. Number 2. Gold Bars in a Russian Tank Nick Mead, a 55-year-old man, bought a Russian tank from eBay for $42,000 with the aim of restoring it to its former glory when he accidentally stumbled across gold bars inside. Luckily, he decided to film his first entry into the tank in case he found weapons inside and needed to contact a bomb disposal team. 
Instead though, Meade found five solid gold bars hidden in the fuel tank, each weighing in at 12 pounds. The find has been valued at around $2.8 million. It's believed that the gold may have originally been looted by Iraqi soldiers in Kuwait during the Gulf War in the early 90s, and then they cut a hole in the tank and rammed the gold bars inside to hide them. You do have to feel sorry for the seller though. Imagine selling something worth that many millions for a measly $42,000. Before we get to number one, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you hear about all of our newest videos. Number one, Saddle Ridge Horde. In 2013, a lucky Californian couple were walking their dog when they came across the greatest buried treasure ever found in the United States, apparently worth more than $10 million. Talk about a good day to go for a walk. Dating from the gold rush era, these coins were found on the couple's property in small metal tins scattered across the site. Interestingly, they were buried at different depths though, suggesting that they weren't all buried at the same time. In all, the find comprised of around 1,400 gold pieces, one coin, the so-called 1866S No Motto Double Eagle, has been valued at $1 million on its own. Out of fear that treasure hunters might descend upon their land, this lucky couple has requested to remain anonymous and have relied on a currency firm to market and sell their coins. Have you ever found something that's worth a lot of money? Let us know in the comments below, and take care!